Welcome to Tybee Island. This beautiful barrier island is located just off the coast of Savannah, Georgia. With its stunning ocean views, gorgeous beaches, and unique history, this is the perfect place for a relaxing getaway. The best part about this local treat is it's only a quick road trip from Atlanta, Georgia, but it's almost like visiting a Caribbean island. As a travel advisor, I get a lot of requests from clients asking me for an easy to get to island destination that could include the entire family. Resorts and hotels on this island are my suggestion when Miami is a little too fast paced for everyone in your tribe. With an array of activities available to visitors, from kayaking to swimming to exploring historic lighthouses and monuments, you're sure to find something that'll make your trip enjoyable. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rockland, I'm a travel advisor. Passport King shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make an informed decision when picking your next vacation. If this is a topic you like, be sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell so you can be the first in the know when I upload new content. You better get a shot to catch a shot. Is Tybee Island in Georgia? Tybee Island is an idyllic seaside destination located in Chatham County, Georgia. For those interested in the beach getaway, the question of whether or not this place is actually in Georgia is an important one. With its sandy beaches, picturesque sunsets, lively restaurants, and nightlife, Tybee Island could feel like you are in another country completely. It has become a popular travel spot among those looking to experience the beauty of the southeastern United States. Your family could be singing road trip songs on their way to Tybee Island for a short or long weekend getaway that won't break the bank. Fun in the sun, beaches and restaurants with tropical island fills are only a few miles away from Atlanta. What to do in Tybee Island, Georgia? Tybee is well known for all of the beach hopping fun in the sun, but there are plenty of other activities that will keep your attention while you're out there. I've compiled a short list of things that you can look forward to doing either with or without the kids. Tybee Island Pier. This lovebird hangout offers a simple fishing section with music playing and great views of the beach. Many people come here for family reunions and other big group get togethers. This pier can get pretty crowded if enough functions are going on at one time. Sampling the seafood makes the entire effort worth it. Tybee Island Restaurants. Tybee Island has a wonderful selection of restaurants including Crab Shack at Chimney, the Sugar Shack, which is well known for its ultra cool selection of ice cream flavors to try, but recently they've upgraded it to a full restaurant menu. Now you can have burgers, fries, and other quick meals that are not too expensive. Or you can try Stingray's seafood for fried crab, and of course there's the Coco Sunset Grill. Tybee Island also has the historic lighthouse. At the Tybee Lighthouse Station in Georgia, the oldest lighthouse dates back to 1736. There are military batteries in the vicinity of Tybee Island, as well as three lightkeepers cottages that interpret the area's rich history. The exhibition depicts the fashions of the Uchi tribe, the history of Fort Scrubbin, and Tybee's Golden Age Light Station and Museum. These type of structures are a history buff's dream come true. Do old historical landmarks do anything for you when you go on vacation? Write your answers in the comments section below and let's discuss what really intrigues the modern day traveler. Tybee Island Tours the day offers so many incredible experiences on Little Tybee Island and the surrounding areas. You'll enjoy the wildlife and explore nearby bays and coastlines. This is a brilliant, fun tour where you'll learn about the history of the island's formation, types of birds, and migration patterns. You'll be exploring around the area for more than six very enjoyable hours. Captain Derek's Dolphin Adventure. This interactive ride takes you out to see some very friendly dolphins. You'll be escorted over the waters with a guy named Gator and his wife. Go with your wife and you can witness the sunset over the horizon. 
This could be the romantic setting for renewed love for one another. Tybee Island weather. The preferred time to visit is somewhere from early April through May and from late September to the early part of November. During peak season, it's most popular from the end of spring through the middle of summer until Labor Day. You can expect high 70s during the winter and very hot summers. It is truly tropical weather in North America. Tybee Island's hotels versus Airbnb, which should you choose? After all of the daytime activities, Tybee Island turns into a poppin' nightlife. As soon as the sun goes down, the adult parties start. Passport Kings recommend staying in a hotel opposed to an Airbnb, unless you're hosting a very big group who wants to stay together in one house. With the benefits of a hotel, you can expect your room to be clean and fresh after a day out on the beach. When getting ready for nighttime activities, cleaning your own room is the last thing you'll be trying to think about. Check out the hotel search at www.passportkings.com to see the going prices for this incredible, family-friendly road trip right now. Then gather your clan and start your first verse of 99 bottles of beer on the wall like a king of Passport King. <laughs>